Okay, guys, we got this Jeep Wrangler here. Customer says it says like to replace the gas cap or something. Let's uh, disconnect from this other vehicle. I was on a Ford. Let's see, let's turn the key on. They said they replaced the gas cap, but it still comes up. Um, we can try cycling the key too here. Let's, let's let's get this to auto ID real quick. Let's go. One, two, three, four. I think it was that. That's how many times you got to cycle. Do I have the door closer to it? Oh, we got crank windows too. Look at that. See a gas cap. Let's try this again. One, two. Oh, there. It just went to go. There you go. See when it says all dashes? Now it'll show us our codes. Um, it's just a yes cap. Is there no codes and it just says a yes cap? It should cycle through the codes. You usually do it three times, I believe. One. I thought it usually goes dashes and then it'll cycle through, but maybe it won't because it says gas cap. Hmm. I'll just look and see if it... That's weird. So I'm assuming we're going to have like a small leak or something. We're using the launch here. I don't know what year this is. Does it say what year? Nope. Two thousand ten, Jeep Wrangler three eight. So I believe the three eight has a purge valve, and uh, I don't know if we have a leak detection pump. We still have the report. There we go. Small leak, loose fuel cap. Okay, so those are stored. Oh, that's why they're stored. They're not current. Um, let's go into here. Let's see if we got any. Uh, can we see if there's a Evap system test, purge system vapor test. Oh, okay, so I wonder if this has an eSIM. See how it says eSIM? We may have an eSIM. So an eSIM has two weighted sensors, one's for pressure, I believe, one's for vacuum. And this, like when there's like one PSI or so of pressure, or actually it's probably like a quarter PSI, um, it'll press this valve, and it, or press this switch closed, and then it knows that the tank can build pressure. And then the other one I think is for vacuum. So when the tank gets pulled into a natural vacuum, he'll pull this switch closed and it knows it can pull a vacuum. That way they're checking the system for leaks using natural pressure and vacuum of the car running. Let's go in this purge system. Test. Let's see. Close. Let's see. Actual purge current. So it's closed right now. Um, actually, I guess we can't. We can't see on here. Um, sounds like we might have a exhaust leak. Let's see. So if we can't, let's see. Read data stream. I don't think there's a pressure sensor on here. It just uses those switches. So let's go to EVAP, nothing. So it's just purge. So we can check the purge valve. And then I don't know if there's any other way to check this. We could take it off the vehicle and check it. We could take it off the vehicle. I think I have a video on this. We could check it off the vehicle. Let me look to see where the eSIM is located. Usually they're on this side and they just clip onto. Like this. It's a strap don't work. Let's see. Right there is the eSIM. So we can take this off and check it. Um, we get underneath here and they have to be on a certain way. These things go bad all the time. So we'll check this. Take this off. We can just blow into it and suck on it 
with our mouth and uh, it'll check it. So you just push this tab in and then we wrote or that way and then we rotate it and it'll come off. So we gotta get this electrical connector off. And we can take this off and check it. Let me get this off, we'll take it inside, we'll check it. Okay guys, so we got our uh, meter set up here. I'm using the AES Wave U test kit. And if we blow into this side, our meter should beep. Hopefully you guys got it. You just blow into this port and then it goes off and you saw that. And then if you suck on this side, it should go off. So you just suck on this side and it'll go off. And so our e seems good. Maybe we got bad purge. These things go bad all the time. And they gotta be on straight. If you look, there's weights in there. I see a lot of people like mount these upside down and you can see that it looks like a little seal. Orange seal right there, because they seal. Same was right there. You can see the and and it just it's just a switch that knows like when there's a vacuum or pressure. It's very, very basic. So we'll shut this off, we'll put this back on, and then um, we'll check the purge valve. Because I usually don't see any other leaks on these at all. It's usually just that. I don't even see gas caps, but he did replace the gas cap twice. So maybe we got the, a bad gas cap too. Um, we could smoke this too. Um, usually I don't need a smoke machine on these though. Usually it's pretty straightforward, but maybe something's damaged. Maybe the tank's damaged or something's rotted out under here. Who knows? Make sure we put this back on right. There you go. Oh, I found the issue, guys. The gas tank. It's unclipped. Look at that. Right there. Crazy. Must have came unclipped. I'm gonna connect that back up, and uh, that should fix this issue. I'm not even gonna test anymore. I bet you that's it. So let me get that clip connected up. Okay, guys, we got that connected up. So hope you guys like this one. I don't think we can run the test, even though it says force monitor. I don't think that'll work because I think this has to sit and do it natural. I think that'll just force the monitor to run. Um, but um, I hope you guys like this one see you later I'm not going to clear his codes either because it'll run the monitor way quicker if we don't clear it because I think he's out of inspection or it expires this month so see you guys later